Hi, I'm Tom Bassett and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a path within Salesforce. Let's head over to a lead record to review how Salesforce path looks. So you can see at the top of this record I have a path which visualizes the status the record will go through. From here you can see that there are key fields and I can also add guidance for success against each path stage so that in this case, sales reps know how to successfully qualify a lead. To set up a new path, jump into Salesforce setup and use the quick find to find path settings. From here, I wanna create a new path and in this case, it's going to be based off of the case status. I'm going to select the case object. I'm going to leave the record type as master. And I want the path to be based off of the status pick list field. So from here, I can add key fields that are related to different stages of the case. So in this case, I want to highlight the case origin and case owner to the service reps and also the contact email. If I wanted to provide some guidance for success, I can also add this in here. This will allow the service reps to see some guidance text on how to progress the case. You can repeat this for each case stage. So under escalated, I wanna add the escalated field. Under on hold, I want to add business hours and case reason. This is just an example. And closed, I'm not gonna worry about key fields or guidance for success here. So I'm gonna press next. And in order for users to see my path, I need to activate it. And I can also additionally enable confetti. When you turn this on, you can select what statuses are available for celebration. So in this case, the closed status, and you can also set the frequency for how often the confetti will display. I'm gonna press finish, and then I'm gonna use the app launcher to go to the case object. From here, I'm gonna quickly create a case. You can see that currently my path is not exposed. To add this in, I need to edit the page and add this in via the Lightning App Builder search for path, drag and drop that onto the page, and then press save. I need to activate the page and assign it as the org default, in this case for both form factors. Now that that's done, when I go back into the case, you'll be able to see the path and also the, the key fields that I've selected. Additionally, if I select this as closed, you can now see that the celebration is also firing as expected. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and add any feedback in the comments. Thanks.